Okay, so please tell me which one somebody, Mikey. That just tell me which 34. Okay, let's do this. Oh, 34 was really hard. Good. Nope. Let's look at 34, please. This is the super duper important when you go to the store. All right, this is telling you if you know how to buy something. All right, everybody, everybody, everyone should be able to tell me how to do this. All right, that's how important this is. All right, so if you don't know, you need to tell me. All right, you go to a store and something's 10% off. All right. So the first thing we had to do is we had to find 10% of 79, which was $7.90. So the sale price then was $71.10. But it was your lucky day because you had another 25% off, right? So now you have to take 25% off of the sale price. That gave you a discount of $17.80. So the final price was $53.30. Now, bless you, bless you. You need to look at that and see how close you are. And if you don't know, I need you to tell me. All right, what? No, 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 come on now. Don't tell me you don't get it. Show me where you don't get it. I did it completely. Well, that's okay, that's okay. So now listen to what I'm saying. Hey. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You're going to be a consumer. You're going to go buy things. This is critical. All right. The less you spend now, the more you have in the future. So this is what we're trying to teach you right now. Super duper important. All right. Do you understand you get a 10% discount, right? Yeah. So I just multiplied 10% times 79. And I got a $7. Uh, that was my first discount. That's discount number one. So if I only got that discount, instead of paying $79, I would have to pay $71.10. You agree with that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Right? Ms. Clifton, are you sure? Yeah. All right. So now from there, sometimes when you walk into a the store, they say, okay, we have a special day, so I'm going to give you another 25% off. So that's what's happening. You get 25% off of not the regular price, but you get 25% off of the what? The discounted price. You get 25% off of 7110. Okay. Do you hear me? Well, how do you, for the first one, do you do 79 times 0.10? Yeah. Be what do you want me to do? So for the first one, would you do 79 times 0.10? Yes. Because on the second one, you do 0.25? Yes. Okay. That's exactly correct. Exactly. What, Mikey? Yeah, so about $51.35. Well, I'm asking you, did you get $71.10? All right, and then what is $71.10 times 0.25? Is that not $17.80? Well, do me a favor, because I did this with my other class. So do tell me. That's good, guys. They, they messed up then. What is 7110 times 0.25? Double check me. Yeah. That's what I got. And then I did the math and I got 52.3325. Right. This is correct, right? Yeah. 17 what? 17. Okay, so they just rounded wrong. So it should have been 17.78, right? Yeah, that's Is that right? 78, and then that would make it 32. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's better. Now, please, again, guys, listen to me. You're all going to be buying things when you go to the store, when you go shopping. If you don't know how to find the price, the people aren't are going to be honest, all right? They work off a computer. They don't know. Sometimes the computer's wrong, meaning how they have it programmed. So you need to be able to tell them that. What? Uh, I don't get, like, I got, like, a really different answer. I know. Listen to me. I need you to sit up, and I need you to look up here on the board, and I want you to know how to do this for sure because it's super important, right? So everybody should have their calculator. So get your calculator out. Let's work it. 
Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, because I got a lot to show you today. Mackenzie, you're good with this, right? Right? Add, add, you're good with this, right? Okay, so you ready? So do you, did you get $7.90 for the first discount? So you have to do 79 times 0 0.10 on your- Yes, yeah, what I, I, four minus on 0.25. No, well, it clearly says, um, 10% first. You with me? Oh. But honestly, it really wouldn't matter. All right. It really wouldn't matter. You should have gotten close to the right answer either way. All right. So take 79, multiply it by 0. 0.10. Uh, right. So then do $79 minus. 7.9. And that's how we got the 7110. You with me? Yeah. Now okay. multiply that. Because you want the price, not the discount. Oh. So now multiply that by 0. 0.25. And that's where we got the $17.78. An additional discount. So now you subtract that from 7110. How is that? Yes. Yes, there you go. Okay. All right. Anybody else? 34 and what else? Well, I didn't have trouble finding the answer. Oh, never mind. I don't know. You did it right? Yeah, so 36 is another really important one. So let's talk about this one. So how much tax did, did he pay? Right? So if you want to find the percent, it's the tax divided by the what? Divided by the, the bill. Not the 648, but just the computer. Yes. That's right. That's exactly correct. That's what I want you to know. Could I write it like the equation, like when I go 48 equals X in parentheses 600, and then just read the equation? Yes, that's exactly what I did. Exactly. Aiden. Can we do this one because I get it? Well, that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Right? The total price is here. The rate we don't know. You multiply the total times the rate to get the tax. Does that make sense to you, Aiden? Mm -hmm. So the total bill was $600. The rate we don't know. The tax was what? 48. So essentially, we have an equation. 600x equals 48. And then we just divide by 600. And that gives you the decimal, 0.08. Mm -hmm. You would be on that. All right. I'm pretty happy, guys. We got a lot to learn this chapter. All right. About percentages and all kinds of nice things. Go. Let's look at 32 for. You got it. Okay. Very nice. All right. So I'm going to pause real quick. I got 63 a local sports car dealer will sell the collection, but will collect a fee of 18% of the selling price. If the car dealer sells the, for $325, what's the fee? It's just 18%. Now, again, I let the other class do it on the calculator. So take 0.18 times 325. Is that correct? All right, so we're good, right? Okay, so again, we got to get going. So I'm going to pause this real quick. I want to um, everyone to have their paper ready. For All right, so here we go. So now listen to me, please. All right, so for the percent of change. All right, listen to what I'm telling you. All right, basic formula. It's the change divided by 
the original amount. All right. That is equal to the percent of increase or what? Decrease. decrease. All right. Now, how do you know if you're going increasing or decreasing? If the price is going what? Up or down. Up or down. All right. So again, I don't really make you write increase or decrease because why? Because if you don't know if it's increasing or decreasing, do we agree I'm in a lot of trouble? Yeah. All right, I'm in a lot of trouble. All right, so now let's see if I've done a great job of this explanation. All right, so everybody has their calculator. Now, again, we're not just writing down the numbers. We're not just writing down the answer that's on the calculator. All right, so what does change mean, Wilson? So how would I find number one? I'm gonna let you do number one. What would the change be? 33%. Uh, um, 33%. No, no, no. I'm asking you what the change is. Oh, it's six divided by 12. Yes. Now, how did you get the change, though? That's what my question was. Like, how much it changed? Uh huh. I just looked at it and it's, I look at six, which is a multiple of that. Well, no, 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 no. The change, you went from what to what? 12, 18. So, what's the change? Yes. How did you get that? By Some people may not know how you got six. I Tell subtract them. subtract them. I know your brain. That's why I'm trying to slow your brain down. All right. I want you to be able to tell me I subtracted them. Right. So the change you went from what? 12 to 18. So the change is six. So change means subtract. Yes. No, we, we, I don't, we're not doing that. You with me? It's all what, it's the change is six. What's the matter, Wilson? Yeah. All right. So here we go. 12 to 18 is six divided by the original or where you started. What was the original? 12. So everybody here knows six twelfths is one half, but it's a percentage. So six twelfths is what? 50%. You're allowed to write that. I want the change and then I want the original. And then you can use your calculator to tell me the percentage. What? I just want to understand that. Like, I, you I, told me the answer. You said 50%. And now you tell me you don't understand. What? So you pick 12 because it's the first number. Right, right. But you went from what number? Oh, you went from, from 12 to 12. So this number over here is the original. Oh, okay. That's where you started. What? Is the answer is like a, like a, like a first We're getting to that. We're, get, we're getting to it. Okay. I promise you. All right. Everybody stay with me. What? Just can we do the problems? You are great at patterns. You're doing extremely well. Just let me get to question number two now. All right. So Mackenzie, we're on number three. What's the change? Um, I need you to do it on your calculator. That's why you're doing using your calculator. $9.70. Does anybody else have a problem with that? Now, what, where did you start out with? So divide that and tell me what you get. Right, exactly. 20%. Okay, now tell me. I don't get how you got that. What's the change? How do you find the how do you find the change? How did we find the change from 12 to 18? We just did 18 minus 12. But you can listen to her also. What? All right, we'll get ready to do number five. What? Did you multiply it by a 
Yeah, yeah, but but listen to me. I don't want you to know that. I want you to just say, well, the decimal was 0.2, and 0.2 is what? 20%. Yeah. That's why I kind of leave that off. So technically, it's the change divided by the original amount times 100. But I feel like when you see a decimal, you know how to convert already a decimal to a percentage. That's why I don't put that in the formula. Okay, but that's how the formula would be written. All right. So now, uh, yes. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Plus, I need everybody to understand this is a 20% what? Oh, sorry, I'll decrease. decrease, right? It's a 20% decrease. I don't care if you put increase or decrease. I'm just simply telling you, you that you should observe that. Oh. <laughs> what? With percentages, do we like round to the... We're getting to that. You're too far ahead of me. No. All right? So seven divided by 10 equals 70% decrease. Yep, it's a 70% decrease. That's exactly correct. A 70% decrease. And we didn't need our calculator on that one. All right, Ms. Clifton, number seven. Now, do we really care about the negative? No. no. You with me on this? So it's just going to be 4.4. Is that what you said? Yeah. Divided by what? $18. That's right. And then what does that come out to be? Um, um, okay, so I said generally we round to three decimal places. So tell me what that would be. Twenty-four point. Now, okay. So, tell me your decimal, just to make sure. Decimal two four what? Three. That's it. No. Yeah. No. I'm I'm trying to help her, and you all are jumping in. She can look at a calculator and tell me what's on the calculator. Tell me the numbers that are on your calculator. Zero nine. Like this, right? Zero nine two. Is that right? Is that what you said? Um, actually, it's eight, eight. Point two what? It's okay, so I don't really care about that anymore. All right, I don't care because, all right, so it looks like that. True? Yeah. Okay, so now you move the decimal over two places. So if I wanted you to round to three decimal places, and again, I'm only doing this for ERBs, it would be 24.309%. You good on that? Yeah. Do I care if you put 24.3%? No, I wouldn't care if you put 24.31%. All right, because I don't care about the little stuff. I care about, do you understand how to do the problem? All right. Now, does everybody understand why we don't care whether it's positive or negative? What? Yeah, it's the same thing, the same answer. All right. But this case, I want everybody to know it's an increase. All right. So here we go. Max, tell me how to do number nine. Yes. You don't need a calculator for 28 minus five. Over. Now tell me what that decimal is. Yep. Something like that, right? So if you rounded that to three decimal places, what would it be? Yep. No, no, you would move the decimal first. So it'd be 82.149%, something like that. Do you agree with that? That's what I want from everybody. Everybody's good? All right, percent of air. Is there really anything different for percent of air? No. If you wanna know the percent of air, it's the change divided by what though? 
do you care about what it actually is or do you care about the estimates? What would you think? You always want the actual, right? It makes more sense to compare something to the what? To the actual. What? Um, I have a question on mine. I got um, 82.143 because right before. Right okay, so there's, so I missed the number that he said, right? So it doesn't really matter, right? You with me? If you put 82.143, good. All right. Sometimes I just don't hear him. Right. So if it's a three, we can make it a three. All right. So now for number 11, Maggie, tell me. I get 38 minus 35. Which is? Three. Over? Over 38. That is correct. And then I divided it. Now, remember, right now, what you're going to do is instead of tell me the bunch of numbers, you're going to move the decimal over two spots and then okay. count three more. And I got 7.895%. Is everybody happy with that? Right. So is it? Would it be an increase or decrease? Well, you went from 38 to no. So this isn't an increase or a decrease. Okay. So you're so you're saying when you do an experiment, you were eight percent off. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. It doesn't matter whether it's over or under. All right. Wilson, tell me about 12 or 13. Um, it's off an inch. So you put one over two and it's 52. Um, I think it's one over what, though? Shouldn't it be one over three? Is it the actual whatever it is or is it the actual one over three? Shh. Remember, it's the actual, right? Oh, and then one over three, I guess. What? Yeah. So one third, everybody should be able to tell me. Or we can just say 33 and one third percent. All right. Yes, Maggie. Does it change over actual? Yes, yes. Right, but but what I'm trying to tell you is, here, listen, everybody listen to me for a second. I don't think you're going to remember in three months the formula, whether it's actual or if it's estimated. I just have a feeling that's true. As a matter of fact, I know it's true. So if you're thinking logically about this, would you want to divide by the actual or by the estimate? Does that make sense, right? Because you could be way off, right? So if you're way off, that's not helping my experiment. I want to know the actual amount. That's why I tell kids, I want you to listen to what I'm saying about the logic of math, right? It's, we wouldn't do the estimate, right? It's always the actual, all right? What? No, we're just going right around the room, all right? 15, go. So 35 minus 56. Right. It'll be 9 over 75. That's right. And what's 9 over 75? Uh, Do it on your calculator, then move the decimal over. How many places do you how many places do you move the decimal? Right. So it's 12 point what? Was it exactly 12%? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Exactly 12%. Okay, Mikey, you're on 17. 13. Everybody's doing it. 13 divided by 58, and then make sure you're rounding properly. 22.413. 22.413. No, no, don't be, don't, it's okay. Three or four. Four. But like I said, on a test, would I really care? Yeah. No, but we're trying to get it ready for the ERBs. So is everybody okay with that now? Maggie, is that good? Yeah. All right. Okay, Sophia, 19. Um, the change is 16. Right. And then over 284. There you go, kiddo. Thank you. And I got 5.634%. 
Is everybody okay with 5.634%? Everybody's good? All right. Now we're back. 21. Um, I did 1,004, and then it's 25.6. Is that an increase or a decrease? Uh, Do you, does everybody see what I'm saying? I don't care about putting increase or decrease. You just have to see. The number's going up. All right, Aiden, 23. Eight over twenty-one. Well, wait, we're we're on twenty-three. Oh wait, sorry. Um, it's. Well, we'll just do yours. We'll let someone else do the other one. I'm happy with that. Eight over twenty-one. What's that? It's thirty-eight point zero nine five percent. Okay. Anybody having trouble with twenty-five? Holland's going to do 23 for us. Okay. So I did, um, I subtracted them and I got 2.75 divided by um, 9.25. Perfect. Um, I got 29.72. Um, seven three percent. Yeah. All right. Everybody okay with twenty three? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you want to You mean with your rounding? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I don't. I don't. Okay. Next. So first, I I subtracted the forty forty dollars and thirty nine sixty. I got 0.5, and now I'm going to divide them by 39.60. Good. So that's 0.0. 0.8. Six. Six. Does that sound good? 1.266%. Everybody's happy with that? Good. All right. You're up, buddy. It's exactly correct. I got, I got 0 0.70. So you got a, so what percentage so is this? 7. No. No, we move it two places, remember? Oh, yeah. 7, 0, 8, 3, 3. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, back over, Mackenzie. Seven. Very nice. Very and nice. That would be um, I thought 0.18. Right. So what percentage is that? Move the decimal over two places. What do you get? Okay. 11. Now, 0.1 repeating is one ninth, right? Yeah. If you want, and I'm I'm I just want you to be understanding the fractions and decimals, right? But if you put 11.111%, would I care? No. no. I just want you to know that one repeating is one ninth. All right, Nora, you could help me with 33. Uh, the 33, it would be 0.5 divided by two. Yes. Equals, oh, sorry, 0.5%. Thank you, that's exactly correct. All right, Ms. Clifton. Um, it's two hundred and twenty-nine minus two eighteen. Yes, it would. Which is ten. Good. And then you divide by two hundred and twenty. That's correct. Which is um point zero zero nine. Okay, so now you got an annoying one. 
So um, let me just tell me 0 0.009 what? Zero nine, zero nine, zero nine. Okay, so now move it over two places. You see why this is annoying? Yeah. Because this is going to be 0.909%, and that doesn't look right. So it's almost 1%. Do you agree with this? Yeah. Does everybody understand that's almost 1%? Mm -hmm. It's less than 1%. I'm listening. Can you put a repeating sign over? Yeah, you know what? I was going to say that, but it's just 90 over 99, right? Yes. We could do that. But most kids, guess what? They don't know that. But that was good if you did. Okay. All right. So again, I, 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 I'm not expecting that. Okay. What? One. Yes, it is. It's very smart. Yes. Is a uh, repeating number that can be turned into a fraction can be written fraction? Yeah, that's why what, what, so what we were just talking about. But um, I, I was so if you wanted to, you could say 90 over 99, which is 10 over 11 percent. Yeah. That uh, that doesn't that just doesn't look right. Like the like with the point one repeating, can you put one in repeating? Yes, we okay. said that right up there, nor look. 31 was one ninth. Okay. 37. I forgot where I'm at. Did you just do that one, right? Okay, 37 max. Damn. So 250 minus 6. What is it? Over? 19 over 850. Uh-oh. 19 divided by what? Uh, 250. No, because that's the estimate. Yes. And you get uh, eight point two two five. Is everybody okay with eight point two two five percent? Somewhere around there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right, Maggie. Um. So when you do one hundred and fifty three point two two five three. Yep. And you get 24. Yep. Did you do a table? Well, remember, where did you start? On Tuesday. Okay, so. That's how you think about it. Okay. Uh, it's 18.18 18 repeating. So I'm okay with that. You with me? And if you want to put a one at the end, I'm okay with that. Or a two, Nora. I see what you said. All right, let's look at 41. Wilson. Um, Bill paid $20 for a new DVD three years ago. Yesterday, he paid $15 for a new DVD. Find a percent of change. It changes by five dollars, and I think it's over twenty. You're right, and that's the fourth, which is equal to twenty-five percent. Thank you, sir. That's exactly right. Forty-three. Okay, let's hear it. Now, this is what's important. All right, you have to tell me what percent that is. So it's annoying, right? Just because you have a bunch of numbers. So be careful. All right, the process is the same. It doesn't matter the size of the numbers. Okay. 
when you subtract, you got to tell me what you got. Like that? Yeah. Divided by? Well, which one did you start at? You see what I'm saying, right? Right. Twenty percent, exactly. Yeah. Five nine. Okay. Just, just double check. Five nine one. You said. Yeah. All right. What's the matter, Aiden? If four million, if the four million was negative, then it can be no. Well, no, no. It's just that's what I'm saying. You just have to know it's an increase, right? Oh. All right. Your homework is to finish up all of it. All right. All the evens, all the odds, everything. That was a good job.